us, defeatthepope.com. Let us help you beat the odds. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Either way, I thank you for tuning in. It's greatly appreciated. Thumbs up, subscribe, click the bell so you're notified every single time I drop anything on this channel. I want to make sure I get your free pick today. I didn't have anything yesterday. I didn't want to force anything. So we had nothing that we put out yesterday. But full recaps always on the website. Um, it's been updated here today. The rest of the way, $99. You get all of my college basketball. We're ready to crank things up. I do have a big play here today. Um, goes off at around 7 o'clock. So make sure you grab that. $19.99 gets you everything that I have on the card. We'll have some NBA. Um, and we'll have some college basketball as well. It's looking like three to four college basketball here today. Um, but yeah, want to make sure I give you a free pick. So let's get into it. Our last time out was about as bad a bad beat um, as we've had. I think that Wisconsin or, uh, Purdue was up 16 points there on Sunday with a minute to go uh, and didn't cover the number. So a couple turnovers and then a steal there from a walk-home player with the game already in hand was kind of a cheap way to get a cover. But you got to get the cover any way that you can, I guess. So bad beat for us there. Want to make sure that we get you a, a dub here today. So let's get into it. Nine o'clock matchup. We see the boys matching up once again. Um, the Gale St. Mary going up against Gonzaga in this matchup. Gonzaga opened up as one and a half point favorites. It's now up to two and a half. We see an over under at 139. We know the great defense of St. Mary's and Randy Bennett. I'm really looking to try to uh, get some revenge here against Gonzaga as they, they ruined their, their, uh, their season there. The last home game of the year. Uh, Gonzaga was able to take care of business and go on there in, in pretty impressive fashion. They knocked them off there at home 70 to 57. So coming into this one, they're going to be matched up in the final, and they've been matched up in the final for quite some time. If you're going back to 2019, St. Mary's has only won one time, and that was 2019. They won 60 to 47. All the other ones were in blowout fashion, uh, favoring Gonzaga Bulldogs. Uh, best believe St. Mary's has that in mind going into this matchup. They are a very defensive team. We know how powerful and explosive um, this Gonzaga team is. And honestly, I'm not sure there's enough firepower for St. Mary's to get this job done. Um, I, I like what they've done. I like what Randy Bennett does. Um, but this is the time of the year where I'm not willing to turn my back on the Zags. It's certainly not in the West Coast Conference tournament um, where they've pretty much owned it. They've, they've been having their run of the run of the mill of their, their run of it, their fill of it here for quite some time here with Mark Few, and he's made these adjustments time and time again. I feel like we, we count out Gonzaga, and then as the season goes on, he makes certain adjustments, and the team kind of changes course here. Um, so since their loss to Santa Clara, which was back in January 11th, Gonzaga was really struggling kind of up and down there in the middle of the season. He takes Greg. He puts him in the lineup, Ben Greg Jr., um, uh, 6'10 Jr., who's been playing extremely well now. Since they've since they put him in, their only loss has been to St. Mary's. Um, and that game where he didn't really shoot that well, but he's been the the X factor to me. He's been the glue guy. He he gets them going defensively. He gets them going offensively. We saw him make some big shots there against San Francisco, um, where they were denying Greg the ball, or uh, I'm sorry, Ike the ball down low, who's been absolutely smoking. I think he's had eight or nine um, games here in a row where he scored 20 plus points. So he's really been getting it going. Uh, the force inside that I think Gonzaga's been missing. But Greg, I believe, is the X factor. He's shooting 36 percent from three point land. Um, he's making his free throws. He's got, he's rebounding the ball at a very high rate. Um, since he's coming to the game, Gonzaga has since gone 14 and one, with the one loss being to St. Mary's. I like the jail that they've done. I like the adjustments that they have made here with Gonzaga, and I'm going to back Gonzaga to get the job done once again here against St. Mary's. I think it's close a little bit here until the second half, midway through the second half. I think Gonzaga starts to pull off with it. Just too much offensive firepower, in my opinion, as we're moving into Selection Sunday. Look for Gonzaga to move up there in the power rankings. Give me Gonzaga. I'm going to lay the two and a half is the official free pick of the day. Let me know if you agree, you disagree, whatever the case may be, but I'm going with the Zags here. Double D, Derek Dimes, DefeatTheBook.com. Let us help you beat the odds. Best of luck if you decide to tail. But either way, hope you guys have an amazing Tuesday. Good luck.